What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I'm going to show you the location for the Jack Hall Gang Treasure. Now where I have marked on the map right now is where you get this quest from the stranger. He will give you the map that I have in my hands. Once you have that map, you're going to head north if you do rece receive it, when you do receive it from the stranger, to the location I am at now. That is kind of on a rock formation that has a small trail around the edge. Be very careful, it is slick, and you do have to make one jump from the le from ledge to ledge, so make sure you do that and don't fall off the side, because it may not kill you, but it's definitely going to hurt. Once you have made that jump, you're going to go over this small lip here, and there will be another little small lip right below me. That is where that next part of the treasure is located. Now, once you get down there, you will get the next treasure map and a pearl necklace. Now, if you're in the early parts of the game, keep that pearl necklace. It will come in handy later. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's definitely, it definitely will come in handy. If not, you can go ahead and sell that. Once you have this next part of the map, it's going to take you a little further away, and that's going to be up in the springs. The springs are a place where the legendary wolf is if you've done any hunting in the game. If you have not, you can definitely kill the legendary wolf while you're there as well. But he is right around that location also. But the springs are very easy to find. Once you get there, you'll know it when you're there because it's just a bunch of, you know, bubbling hot springs around. Now, when you're there, there are a lot of rock formations. There is one particular rock that you're going to want to find. And it is a rock that has, kind of has a large, flat-looking rock sitting on the top. And that is where the next part of the treasure map is located. Now, you will find a little bit of money here along with the next part of the treasure map. But the biggest uh, kind of loot you're going to get is going to be at the last part that we are about to go to. And that is going to be out on this small pond. There's a little bitty rock island out there. You want to either swim out there or swim on your horse. I, I, I choose to use the horse just in case my character drowns. The water is cold and it's in a cold area. So be careful if you swim out there. But once you're out here, there's a small flat rock kind of on the shore of this little island. That is where there, uh, there are two gold bars located. And that is the end of the Jack Hall Gang treasure hunt. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.